Hello, welcome to this video. Today I will introduce new landing and borrowing protocol deployed on Moonbeam Moonwell Artemis. I will show how to land and borrow assets on Moonwell Artemis and also how to stake well tokens to generate staking rewards. Moonwell is landing and borrowing DeFi protocol built on Moonbeam and Moonriver. Moonwell's protocol on Moonriver is called Moonwell Apollo and the native token of Apollo protocol is MFAM and this is Moonwell Apollo app. And Moonwell's protocol deployed on Moonbeam is Moonwell Artemis. And this is Moonwell Artemis app. Moonwell Artemis allows users to land and borrow six different assets such as Bitcoin, Ether, USDC, XC DOT, Frax and Glimmer tokens. And the native token of Artemis is Well. Now what exactly users can do on Moonwell Artemis? Users can do three main things to lend assets to the protocol, to borrow assets from the protocol and also to stake well tokens to generate staking rewards. Now since Moonwell Artemis allows to lend and borrow six different non-native assets, that means some of these assets such as Bitcoin, Ether or Frax can be bridged over to Moonbeam Network using Nomad Bridge. So this is Nomad Bridge. The correct URL is app.nomad.xyz. I will leave the link to this bridge in the description. Now how to bridge assets? First you need to select the origin network. So this is the network where your tokens will be bridged from. Let's say I'll be bridging from Ethereum. Then select destination, which is the network you are bridging your assets to. So since Artemis is built on Moonbeam, I'll be bridging my assets to Moonbeam network. Then select the token and the amount to be bridged. Then click next. Here you need to select via Nomad Bridge, review the transaction, click send and confirm the transaction in your MetaMask. All those non-native assets will be represented on Moonwell Artemis as Nomad assets and these are Artemis contracts of individual tokens. Now how to use Moonwell Artemis DEP. The URL is moonwell.fi slash Artemis. First up here you need to connect your MetaMask wallet and switch to Moonbeam Network. And here in the middle you select the asset that you wish to lend or borrow. Currently there are six different assets, Ether, Bitcoin, USDC, Glimmer, XEDOT and Frax. Let me choose Glimmer. So you can either lend your assets to the protocol, which means you will supply your assets to Artemis protocol, or you can borrow assets from the protocol. Now why to actually borrow assets? Because borrowing allows you to obtain liquidity from your assets without having to actually sell your assets. That means you will still hold your supplied asset with upside to borrow some other assets against it. Then you can use these new assets that you have borrowed However, you want, for example, in yield farming on some DEXs built on Moonbeam. You get rewarded for lending your assets to the protocol. On the contrary, when you borrow assets, you pay interest. Thus, very important is to check the current net APY for supply and borrowing. At this moment, supply net APY for Glimmer token is 31.27%. So this would be your reward while borrow net APY which is the interest that you pay for your loan is 28%. Naturally, supply as well as borrow net APY is constantly changing. So supply net APY is the reward that you will get for lending your assets and borrow net APY is the interest that you will pay for borrowing assets from the protocol. So basically the cost of your loan. Now let's say I want to supply Glimmer. Click Supply Glimmer. Here is your Glimmer balance. Here you can add the percentage of your balance or you can supply your total Glimmer balance by clicking on Max. So let me supply one Glimmer. Then click Deposit Glimmer. This transaction log will pop up and confirm the transaction in your MetaMask. So now I have supplied one Glimmer. My supply net APY is at this moment 32.56%. I can also view the details of my APY, so I'm getting this supply APY which automatically occurs in the smart contract. Supply APY are the rewards in the token supplied based on fees paid by borrowers, thus Glimmer tokens, and I'm also getting distribution APY, which are additional rewards that need to be claimed here in the rewards panel. And this distribution APY are also Glimmer rewards plus some well rewards. I can also enable my supplied Glimmer as a collateral by switching this button. 
which means that I would also like to use my supplied Glimmer as a collateral to borrow other assets from the protocol. Please read this very carefully. To withdraw supplied assets, click Withdraw, select how much you wish to withdraw, click Withdraw Glimmer, confirm the transaction and you withdrew your assets back from the protocol. I can also borrow different assets and to use those assets which I have supplied as a collateral for my loan. Let's assume I want to borrow some XE dot. I click borrow XE dot and I can see based on my collateral which is one glimmer at this moment I can borrow 0.0593 XE dot which is in the value of $0.397. I can also select to borrow either 25, 50 or 75% from the total amount that I am able to borrow based on my collateral. Extremely important is this indicator health after borrowing, which indicates the health of your loan. A good health value is indicated with a green indicator. The higher this value, the healthier your loan. So as the user approaches a higher risk score of his loan, it will be indicated with a yellow indicator. So if I select I want to borrow 75% of what I am able to borrow, health indicator lowers to 1.33 and the indicator turns yellow. And as a user approaches a very high risk of liquidation, the indicator becomes red. So as long as the health factor stays above 1, the loan remains open, but as soon as the health factor value falls below 1, it will trigger a liquidation event of the user's assets to recover the loan. So let me select again 25%, I click borrow, sign the transaction, and now I have borrowed 0.01 XC dot from the protocol. Here is the borrow net APY for this loan of XC dot. so this is the cost of my loan. Here on this top dashboard, Continuously keep an eye on the health value of your loan. Green indicator is what you want. There is a green indicator when the value is above 2. Once you get under number 2, the indicator turns yellow and you should start considering to either repay the part of your loan or to increase your collateral. Once the health value is close to number 1, there is a significant risk of being liquidated. There is no set time for repayments. The loan repayment is determined by the health factor value. So as long as the health factor stays above 1, the loan remains open in perpetuity. To repay your loan, click Repay. Select how much you wish to repay, either a partial repayment of your loan or the whole loan. Click Approve and Repay and sign the transaction. That way you have repaid your loan. Up here there is your supplied and borrowed portfolio and the value of your supplied and borrowed balance in US dollars. Here is once again the current health factor of your loan and this is how much more you can borrow based on your collateral. And you can also stake well tokens on this Moonwell Artemis tab. Click on this stake well tab, enter the amount of well you wish to stake, click approve and stake well and sign the transaction. Here is staking APR, currently sitting at 99.67%. Staking rewards are paid in well token and the rewards can be claimed at any time. To unstake, first you need to activate this cooldown period, which will last 10 days. After these 10 days, you will have two days window, during which you will have to redeem your well tokens. Please note that if your staked well tokens are not redeemed within this two day window, you will have to reactivate the cooldown period and wait another 10 days. Also, everyone should be aware of the potential risk of staking well on Artemis. Staked assets will always be at some form of risk if a shortfall event occurs. You can read more about potential staking risks and what is a shortfall event in the official Moonwell's documentation. That's all about Moonwell Artemis. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.